So the Steelers are playing bad football and just roll in the Kansas City Chiefs. For week 17, we've got the 7-8 Chiefs trying to make a late season and push the playoffs, taking on the 9-6 Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the way I see it, the Steelers have to go 1-1 one one to end the season. I think we can get in with a 1-1 one one record to finish the season, meaning we can get in with a 10-7 record. So let's get it done tonight. I mean, I don't want to take on the likely NFC South champions next week in the Buccaneers. If we can win this game against the Chiefs and we really don't care where we're seated in the playoffs next week, we can just kind of go in there, play our backups and get healthy for that wild card game. Now, if we don't win tonight, though, it is a must win next week at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a team led by the former Kentucky quarterback in Will Levis. And of course, we could still get in with the loss that week. But if we lose this game, then of course, we lose the Bucs. Then we got the Chiefs on us. It's going to be tough. So here's the playoff picture. We are currently the sixth seed. It goes Texans, Bengals, Raiders, Bills, Chargers, Steelers, and the Tom Brady led Indianapolis Colts at seven. So got to win the game tonight, man. Got to win tonight against Kansas City, who's looking to make a push to the playoffs as well late in the year. And here he comes to be the best quarterback in football. It's Patrick Mahomes, 4,249 yards, 37 touchdowns, six interceptions. He's been phenomenal all year long. And here comes Mahomes from his own 25 yard line looking over the middle. He's still got his star tight end. It is Travis Kelsey for a gain of 13 yards. Now the Mahomes led Chiefs have got it to the 50 yard line. Mahomes looking to throw to his right ball, be caught up the backfield, breaking off a tackle still on his feet. First down again for the Chiefs to the 38 yard line. Mahomes two for two to start this game. Second and five handoff. No, play action fake. Going to Clyde Edwards Alaire instead. Mahomes fires to his left. Big pickup down to the 20 yard line. Now it's a second and 10 in the red zone is the Chiefs. Handoff first down again for Kansas City to the five. It's McBride on the carry. Now Kansas City's got it for a third and goal from the six yard line. Mahomes out the gun looking to throw. Patrick Mahomes still got time in the pocket. Taken all day long. Patrick Mahomes now finds a man of the middle. It's his receiver in Sky Moore. And the Kansas City Chiefs have gone up to a 7-0 lead. Mahomes to Moore. And Harrison Butker will now boot it back to the Steelers. Our first drive of the game will start off with a Calvin Austin the third return. So Austin's going to return. And okay. I mean, you know, there's, you know, there's limited things that can happen when I show you a kickoff. Fumble, good return, touchdown. Unfortunately, it's the bad one right there. Kansas City takes over from the 11. There goes McBride on the Texas route. Down to the one yard line. It's a first and goal. Mahomes handoff. They give it to the former tight end turned fullback, Keithan Carter. How in like every Madden does Keithan Carter turn into a fullback? I mean, I think he is now in real life, but he turns into a guy who just keeps on running the football for teams. It doesn't make sense. So Butker kicks it back to Calvin Austin third. Of course, a couple things that can happen right here. It's, it's the fumble. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's, it's going to get picked up. Like, this is giving me Gunnar Olszewski flashbacks and that dude to fumble every single time. Anyways, we finally touched the football. Eight minutes into this game. Tua's got it from the 35-yard line and a third and six. He will find Pat Fryermuth who sneaks outside. Big gain right there for Pittsburgh just at least to keep the drive going. And the Steelers have now got it to the 43-yard line. First and 10 at Fort Tua. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Single coverage downfield. Why not let it fly, Jalen Waddle? Waddle burns everyone downfield. 57 yards to the house. Oh my goodness. He's too quick. And just like that, the Steelers get seven back. They've cut this Kansas City lead in half, but there goes Patrick Mahomes. Sidearm shot to Sky Moore down to the 42 yard line. He was perfect in this first quarter. Eight for eight for 97 yards. And the Patrick Mahomes led Chiefs are up 14 7. Going to the second. So third and five for Kansas City from the 37 yard line. Mahomes looking to throw. He's sitting in the pocket. Got time over the middle. First down, Kansas City. They're so tough to stop, man. I mean, when Patrick Mahomes is 10 for 10, he hasn't, you know, a ball has not hit the ground yet for Kansas City. Second and five, handoff. I mean, you know, when they're running with Keithan Carter, we're having issues. 13 yard run for Carter. I don't know where McBride is, but it's a third and goal from the three. Mahomes out the gun. What do you expect? Over the middle, touchdown, wide open. No one close to the former Clemson Tiger in Justin Ross. 21 to seven for Kansas City. Tua gets the football back from his own 36 yard line, firing to his left. He will find Deontay Johnson. Big first down to the 45 yard line. Tua now five for six for 106 yards. Of course, most of that coming from that Jalen Wild touchdown, but third and seven, there will be a completion. Tua to fire Muth. Down at the 36, will be a fourth and two. You gotta think the Steelers will keep the offense on the field. We go empty gun look. Tua just gonna look quick to his left. Connect with Najee Harris for the first down to the 31 yard line. Don't look now, but only a minute left here in the second quarter. It'll be a second and seven for Tengavailoa dropping back over the middle. Touchdown! Jalen Waddle's got number two. 
I mean, how you don't pick up on that guy after his first touchdown, I don't know. But the Pittsburgh Steelers, again, will come back within seven points. It is 21 to 14 going into the third quarter. We've been playing from behind all game long thanks to the fumbles by Austin. They're only down by seven going into the second half. And Pittsburgh does get the football first, so a first and 10 handoff going to Najee Harris. Break off a tackle. Look at Harris go. Big first down for the Steelers down it to the 42-yard line. Second and 10 now for Pittsburgh. Here comes Tunga Vailoa out the gun. Oh, had a receiver downfield instead. Looks for Jalen Waddle. He gets him. Okay, so it's been all Waddle here tonight for Pittsburgh down it to the 43-yard line. First and 10 for the Steelers offense. Tunga Vailoa looking to throw over the top. Going for George Pickens. Oh, robbed by the Kansas City defender. Not a good throw at all by Tua. Yeah, not ideal. You got to throw that seam route earlier. Justin Reed is there at the interception, and Kansas City will take over from the 45-yard line on a second and 10. Mahomes looking to throw to his left ball. Be caught on the curl route. There is Justin Ross, first and 10 from the 32-yard line, giving it back to the damn fullback, Keith and Carter, and we cannot bring him to the ground. Somehow that guy just ran for another 10 yards. I mean, he's slow as dirt, but he's got 36 yards over seven carries. They go fake jet touch pass, and Mahomes and Stelix over the top, going for Travis Kelsey. Down to the two-yard line. It's a pickup of 20 yards right there for the Chiefs offense. First and goal, empty gun. Mahomes looking to throw to his right. Oh, why don't you throw that ball? Double coverage. Jamel Dean with yet another pick. Try and take it back. Oh, he's tripped up. Oh, my goodness. Jamel Dean gets us the football back from the 32-yard line. I think he's got to lead the league in interceptions. And he does it again right there with the pick of Patrick Mahomes. Third and 14. Oh, my goodness. Tua looks to throw again to George Pickens, and it's picked off again by Kansas City. So we turn them over, and then we give them the football right back. So the Chiefs have got it from the 29-yard line. Handoff, Keith and Carter. Oh, TJ Watt blows him up. Now, I know we've, we've been talking about the fumble slider, but like, okay, if a tight end gets blown up by TJ Watt like that, I'd expect him to fumble the football too. We're going to get the ball back from the 26-yard line. Third and six for Tua. Texas route. Najee Harris down to the 40-yard line. Big pickup of 14 right there for the Steelers to continue this drive. Now they got it from the 47. First and 10, Tua. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Got a man wide open. Again, how they have nobody on Jalen Waddle. I don't know. He's too quick, but it's fine. Waddle down at two of the 23. Pittsburgh trying to tie this game up here at 21 on a second and three. Mahomes halfback draw going to Najee Harris running over a man in the process. Harris will get us the first down. He's got 10 carries for 45 yards, basically putting up the same numbers of fullbacks doing right now. But a third and goal to a steps up. Oh, gets it to Waddle down at the one. Huge decision to make for the Steelers. Fourth and goal from the one. Let's see what happens. Big spot in this one. And of course, we keep the offense in the field for a fourth and goal. Hand off Najee Harris untouched into the end zone. All right. Tie game in Pittsburgh, 21 to 21 as we get the fourth quarter started. Only a second has gone by in the quarter. But here come the Chiefs from the 20-yard line. Mahomes looking over the top. I mean, why is no one picked up on Justin Ross? He'll run over Micah Fitzpatrick. And Ross with one play has got the Chiefs. Down to the 47-yard line. Third and eight now for Kansas City. Mahomes up the gun, looking to throw wide open again. How you leave Travis Kelsey open, I don't know. But Kelsey down to the 26-yard line makes it now a second and two from the 17. They hand it off to the damn tight end. Keith and Carter's got the first down yet again. I mean, that's just the Kansas City O-line blocking the way and paving the way for Keith and Carter as they're going to do right here on a second and goal. Touchdown, Kansas City. Six minutes to go, and the Chiefs have gone back up by seven because Keith and Carter has scored yet again. It's 28-21 for the Chiefs, with Pittsburgh getting the football back from their own 16-yard line on a second and 19. Tua dropping back, looking to throw, taking a shot. Deontay Johnson right away. Johnson's off the races. Down to the 20, 15, 10. Oh, he's tripped up at the two. Huge game for the Steelers. Tua to Deontay Johnson. It's a first and goal from that two-yard line. Hand off Najee Harris untouched yet again. And the Steelers respond right back to the Chiefs. Tie game yet again at 28-28. Halfway through this fourth quarter. Oh my goodness, the Chiefs get the football back from the 25-yard line. Third and five for Mahomes looking to his left. And oh, he overthrows his man. Pittsburgh gets the ball back from the 49-yard line. Second and seven for Tua. Looking to throw. Four minutes to go. He gets it to Najee Harris. Big truck first down to the 41. Second and 10 for Tua. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Tunga Vailoa over the top. Ball is caught. There goes NFL young boy 
George Pickens to the 21 yard line, third and 10 now for the Steelers though. At two out looking to throw, trying to continue this drive. So just dump it off to Najee. Not wanting to take too many risks. The problem though, yeah, the Kansas City's getting the football back with two minutes. Okay, we're gonna make the 31 yard field goal at least I hope. Yes, Chris Boswell's got it, but we leave Patrick Mahomes a minute and 57 seconds. They're gonna go no huddle. They are in need of a field goal. I'm more scared they score the touchdown because look at that. Mahomes will find his backup tight end in laid to the 49 yard line. Now they've got to the 36 and they're still handing the football off to Keith and Carter and somehow that results in a gain of 16. I, I mean, ridiculous. First and 10 from the 20 yard line, Mahomes dropping back, looking to throw over the middle. He has guys receiver, problem is only one timeout. They're gonna hurry up back to the football, but they realize, oh crap, can't do anything with it. They'll call the timeout. Harrison Butker comes out for the chip shot field goal. So we are going to overtime. 31 to 31 is our score. We are all tied up. Oh, it's gonna get tricky here. I mean, I feel like whoever gets the football first is gonna score. I have a lot more confidence in the Chiefs if I'm being honest. Okay, we get the toss. I mean, it's better because like, you know, I wouldn't want to go on defense because we'd 100% lose. Now we have like a eh, like a 33% chance of scoring. I'll take it. We got to push the football downfield and we got to score right now. Let's do it. We've got it from our own 32 yard line on a second and 10. Tango by Loa on a play action fake looking to his right. Oh no, bat. Oh, what the bro. Okay. I understand that's not the best football right there, but you tell me he'd throw it right to the defender. Like, and not just over, oh, we're gonna lose the football game. Oh my goodness, that's, wow, wow. No, no, just play, play the Marvin's Room type B. I, I don't know what we're gonna play in the background. That's ridiculous. How, how, how does he throw it right, right to the linebacker? Like, I understand if he can't make that throw, but if Tua's actually trying there, you think, you know, he's not gonna throw it right to him, and it's just, it's a bullet pass right to the Kansas City defender. Like, not like slightly over him, not, you know, lo lobbing it slightly over him. Uh, come on, that, that's, that's so, that's so stupid. I, we, we lose again. Uh, okay, so, so that's great. That, 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 that's actually great. We've got one more game of the season. We got Tampa Bay next week at home. If we win, we're in the playoffs. If we lose, we need some help. But like, honestly, we should not be in the playoffs at nine and eight. We should not because I, I, I don't know if we're gonna get in because Buffalo will have the tiebreaker over us. Kansas City will have the tiebreaker over us. We have to win next week in order to control our own destiny to the playoffs and we need to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 57 of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you haven't yet though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Go check out our start of the NHL series with Vancouver Connects yesterday. So go check the video out as well. Good luck, Sam, for watching and Mamba forever.